And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Today we're here to talk about something that everybody who, I, I don't know, doesn't everybody like to do it? I think so, and that's have a barbecue party. That's where the guy goes out in the backyard and pretends that he's doing a majority of the cooking and actually isn't, but it still is a lot of fun. And here we have a very large size box. This looks like something that would come from Hasbro, actually, uh, but it's not. It's from Asmo Day. Is it a fun game? Is it a real barbecue party? Let's look. So here we have our little grill here, which is not as good as my real grill, but that doesn't matter. What you do is you push down this and it stays down. Then you will lock it in the position. Then you will place the grill piece on top. Now I've messed with this for a while and so the grill piece has these three pressure points which would make it pop up. But if it's in a locked position it won't happen. Then you unlock it. Oh, See, now it will easily pop up on you. So we push it back down, lock it, put the grill in place, and unlock it. Now each player takes a turn. On your turn you're going to draw the top card of the pile. One of the cards says miss your turn, which is a terrible thing. It goes in the next player. When you shuffle through the deck and you put this card back in, blah, blah, blah. The third time this card makes someone miss their turn, it's chucked out of the game. So three people will miss their turn. Hopefully not the same person three times. Usually, though, it will show you a certain kind of vegetable. Broccoli on the grill. Oh, it's so delicious. So what you do is you'll take the tongs and you'll go to our pile of food over here, which includes a die, and you will pick up the broccoli like this and you will place it on the grill, hopefully without making the grill pop. Placing it on lightly, it's okay, uh, but it, it, is, it is fairly easy to pop it. Now, obviously after there's a certain amount of food on, it's gonna be putting a lot of pressure on those plates anyway. I've not yet messed with it to see how much food can actually be put on top of the grill, but you're never gonna put all this food on it anyway. And the reason for that is, is if you draw a card, like tomato, there's Bob the tomato, and you need to take a tomato, and there already is one on the grill, well then, your goal is to get it off the grill. So, there's Bob on the grill, and my goal is to get Bob off the grill, again, without the grill popping. If that happens, I will put Bob, or I'm sorry, the tomato, on the, the card, and I get to keep it. The first person to get three of these is the winner. So you need to have it put on the grill before it can be taken off the grill, and then you need to get do it. Now, if the grill pops and everything comes off the grill, you can play where you have to put one of your cards back. Of course, for some people that would make the game take forever and a day. But that is essentially how the game works. It's all just a spring mechanic here, where when this grill is put on the spot here, there's a good chance that it will pop off. Man, it still makes me jump. All right, so let's talk about Barbecue Party. As you can see, it's just basically a dexterity style game like Operation or Perfection. Uh, it is a different style one, Barbecue Party. Let's see what the kids think of it. what do you think of Barbecue Party? I liked it because um, the, it when like, someone like placed it, on, when it gets more heavy and heavy, it starts, it pops up. So you liked it for that reason? Are you good at it? Not. Nah. That much. All right, well, okay, now let's see what Amy thinks. Amy, do you, do you like barbecue party? Not really, um, mostly because I miss all the time and I barely ever get it on or get it off and get a point. Well, the thing, it gets boring to me and I'm like, why is it getting boring? Really? You can't wait the 30 seconds between your turn and someone else's turn? That's why. Alright. <laughs> Melody! What do you think? Um, I like the game. I like putting the pieces on the thing and um, watching it pop. It only happened to me like twice. But it did happen to you. Yes. One of the things that uh, you can say about the, the game, I think, is that everybody jumps when the thing pops. <laughs> I jump every single time. And even when I know I'm going to make it pop, I still jump. Um, besides like Amy's curmudgeonness, 
Uh, the game did appeal to all my kids, including my, my, the little kids who are not in this video. They also enjoyed it, even just watching it, waiting to see the stuff pop off. And it has a cool toy factor. To me, it's hard. I've tried to see how many things I can get on it. I make it pop all the time, so I'm not very good at the game. But it has a very good visual effect, and I think will be a lot of fun for families. And uh, we have two out of three who like it, so that's, that's pretty good. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find the latest board game news at Dicetowernews.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Fun Again Games, the world's best game source. Fun Again Games has over 5,000 games available. Check them out at funagain.com. <laughs>